This is day three, the most challenging fat now to do this workout. Ciao, welcome to Pilates with Hannah and welcome to day 3 of the 30 minute Pilates challenge. I'm so happy that you are here because I will say that the first 3 days of the challenge is are always the hardest one to commit. And you did it, you made it, I'm so proud of you guys. So let's do it together, roll your mat and let's begin. Alright, now let's start by allowing yourself to come to own proper position. So, open your arms shoulder apart and your legs hip width apart. I want you to inhale and we try to warm up a little bit by rotate the eyes on the elbow to face each other. Shoulder far away from your ears and tuck your feet. Inhale, dip your shoulders down between your arms and come back. Inhale, down, exhale, lift. Make sure you pull your belly button in and I don't want you to arch your back here. So, lengthen your spine, engage your core and keep breathing. Inhale. And exhale, and five, four, three, two, and the last one. And slowly articulate your spine, shoulders down, cat and core. And roll your smudge, your chest, each vertebra at a time. We're gonna do it three more times, see with your own breath. And each vertebra at a time, really engage your core to support your lower spine. Squeezing your thighs, shoulders down, and two. And last one, roll your spine and slowly bring you back, back to neutral. Very good. Now from here, I want you to allow yourself to bring your leg all the way to the back here. So tuck your feet, inhale and lift your knees up and slowly bring it down. Inhale, lift and exhale down. I want you to do it as quick as you can in 10 counts. So you can always make a fist here to support your wrist more. And keep breathing, shoulder far away from your ears. And five, Four, three, belly button in, two, and last one, slowly to the other side, lengthen and lift and down, and again try to speed it up as quick as you can in 10 counts. Really engage your core here and don't arch your back. Lengthen your spine, look towards the mat, and five, four, three, two, and last one, slowly bring your knees down, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. From here, I wanted to allow yourself to put your shoulder far away and lengthen both legs to full plank. Now this time, engage your core, inhale and bend one knee towards your elbow, come back to the other side. I'm going to try to do it as quick as you can in 10 counts. So move to the other side, belly button in, really engage your core here and keep breathing, very good. In 10, 9, belly button in, 8, 7, really make sure that your hips stabilized. <sighs> Exhale when you bend your knee. And 3, 2, last one. To the other side and slowly bend your knees down. Come to try both. Reach your hand towards. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. Now from here, I want you to allow yourself to come back to on forward position again. Now slowly make a fist and shoulder far away from your ears. Eyes and elbows rotate to face each other. Tuck your feet. Inhale. Lift the knees up. Exhale down. Again, we're going to try to do it as quick as you can in 10 counts. And 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Lengthen the neck, look down to the mat. Last one, slowly bring it back. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now from here, I want you to allow yourself to put your whole forearms down to the mat. Shoulders on top of your elbow here. Tuck your feet, inhale and lift your hips as high as you can. Exhale, come back, bend your knees, shift your weight to the front and back. Inhale and exhale, round and lift. Belly button in, engage your core. Keep breathing. 
and ten. Nine. Try to a little bit quicker if you can. And as quick as you can actually. So do it with your own speed. But try to challenge yourself here and belly button all the way in. Inhale. And exhale. And six. Five. Four. Lengthen your spine. Look towards your heels. Two more times. And last one. And slowly bend your knees down. Come to try pose again. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Beautiful guys. Now from you, I want you to allow yourself to lengthen your arms. Shut off far away from your ears. Now lengthen both legs to the back. So shift your weight to the front, shoulders on top of your wrist and come to full plank here. Inhale and try to walk your feet to the outside and then come back to the center. I want you to do it as quick as you can in 10 counts. So when you're ready, let's start. Open, come back, inhale and exhale. And nine, eight, belly button in, stabilize your hips here. Six, very good. And five, four, soften your knee if you need to, but try to lengthen your legs. And last one, slowly knees down, try pose, reach your hand forwards. Inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. Beautiful guys. Now from here, I want you to allow yourself to come to sit all the way along the mat here. So your fingers point towards the front. Open your shoulder and your chest, shoulders down. Open your leg here with the part here. Now inhale and I want you to lean backward. Engage your core. Lift both legs up at the same time and bring it down. Lift your hips as high as you can. Now hips down. Lean backward and come back. Lengthen your arms, push your palms down to lift your hips up. Really engage your core here. If you are a beginner, you don't have to bring your legs up. Or if you are more than beginner, you can just try to lift each leg at a time. So contract your pelvic floor muscle here. Inhale and exhale. And lift. And five. Four. Soften your elbows when you bring your legs up and shoulders far away from your ears. Always chest up. And three, beautiful guys. Two, last one, lift. And slowly flex your spine forward. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now from here, I want you to allow yourself to put your forearms down to the mat. Open your legs here with apart and bend your knees here. So into your core, inhale and draw your hips all the way up as high as you can and come back. Look towards the front, don't pull your chin up to the ceiling. We don't want to put a lot of pressure on your neck here. So inhale, lift, exhale down as high as you can. Put your shoulder far away from your ears, lift and down and nine, eight. Squeeze your thighs, keep your legs parallel to each other and look towards the front, six, and five, exhale, lift, <sighs> inhale, down, and three, two, last one, lift, and slowly bring it down, lengthen your legs, hug your spine forward, knee to chest, inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to again allow yourself to put your fingers towards the front, sort of far away from your ears. Now this time, pull your toes to the front, activate your feet. Inhale, lift your hips as high as you can and bring one leg up and down to the other side and keep breathing. I want you to make sure that you keep your hips stabilized and balanced here. So try to lift your leg as high as you can and come back and 10 to the other side. Belly button in nine. Very good. Eight. Beautiful. Contract your pelvic floor muscle. Seven. Six. Look towards the front as always. Squeeze your thighs. Contract your pelvic floor muscle here. And belly button in. And three. Exhale. When you lift your leg up, inhale down two. And last one. Lift to the other side. And slowly 
Bring your hips down, hug your knees, your chest. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply. And exhale. <sighs> Alright. Now from here, open your legs. Bend your knees. Keep your feet flat. And now, hand under your knees. Again, if you're a beginner, put your hand under your knee. If you are advanced or intermediate, or if you just have worked out for a while, I want you to really bring your arm to the front and challenge yourself to lean backward. So open your chest, lean backward, and into your core here. Now, lift your leg up to the other side. I want you to try to do it as quick as you can in 10 counts. So keep breathing. Nine. Make sure you always pull your belly button in. Keep a very stabilized torso here. Beautiful. And seven. Try to lift your knee as high as you can and all the way towards your chest to feel your core more, feel your whole body is shaking here. Very good. And three, two, last one. And slowly flex forward, hug your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Alright, now from here, I want you to allow yourself to lie all the way down on your back. So, this time, bring your legs all the way up and slowly bring one leg down, arms along your body and press your whole arms down to the mat and start to switch your leg. So, lengthen your legs always. Feel like someone pulling your legs away from the center. Try to do as quick as you can here in 10, 9, 8, 7. Belly button in, contract and try to lengthen, really stabilize your hips here and keep your back in neutral position. Beautiful guys, keep breathing. And five, four, three, two, and the last one slowly, hug your knee to your chest, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now from here, I want you to allow yourself to lengthen both legs up to the ceiling again, arms along your body. Now this time, bend your knees 90 degree and lengthen and bend. And we're gonna try to do it as quick as you can in 10 cows, so really engage your core. If you want to, more challenging here, you can always lengthen your arms up and bend. So keep breathing, belly button in, really engage your core and stabilize your torso here. Hip bones down to the mat, only your arms and your legs are moving here. In three, two, last one. And slowly bring your arms and legs down. Shake your hips, inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Beautiful guys. The next movement, have one knee to trust, single leg stretch. So inhale, lift your shoulders and your head up. One fist distance from your chin to your chest. Inhale and exhale. Switch to the other side. And a couple more times here with your own breath. Belly button in. And 10. Quicker. As quick as you can. Very good. Nine. Eight. Beautiful, guys. Keep it up. Stabilize your torso. Stick your low back down to the mat. Really. Make sure that your hips stabilized and balanced here. Lengthen your leg, use your hand to pull your knee towards your chest more. And five, four, three. Beautiful guys, keep it up. Last one. And slowly bring your legs down, hug your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, very good. Now from here, I wanted to allow yourself to lift your head up. Bend your knees down, try to reach up and crunch. So inhale, elbows open wider, put your shoulder far away from your ears, inhale. And exhale, reach, come back and reach and bring it back as quick as you can, but make sure you always use your shoulders to lead the movement. Very good, nod your neck and keep breathing. And six, five, four, three, <sighs> And slowly hug your knee to your chest, head, shoulders down. Inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. 
All right, now from here, I want to allow yourself to make an even more challenging movement here, my favorite movements of all the time. So, need to stress, lengthen your opposite leg to the front and lift your head and your shoulder off the mat here. We're gonna do crisscross. So open your elbows wider, reach your opposite stress to your knee. Inhale, exhale, reach, come back, switch to the other side. We're gonna try to do it as quick as you can in 10 counts. So lengthen your legs, to the other side, belly button in and keep breathing. 10, 9, try a little bit more. Very good, guys. Reach, try to lift your shoulder and your chest up. And your shoulders use it to lead the movement here. Try to reach your opposite shoulder to your knee. Bring your knee towards your chest a little bit more. And 3, 2, beautiful, guys. Keep it up. Last one. And slowly bring your head down, hug your knee to your chest, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. Beautiful guys, I'm so proud of you guys. All right, now from here, I wanted to allow yourself to bend your knees, keep your feet flat, and open your arms to the side, press your whole arms and shoulders down, press your feet down, draw your hips all the way up. Now I want you to press your feet really down keep your legs parallel to each other and start to make a little pulse with your hips here so a couple more times engage your core as much as possible to support your lower back and 10 nice squeeze your booty muscles here very good and six five four three two and one slowly bring your hips down inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Beautiful. Now let's go to the side lift series. So forearms down to the mat, lengthen your legs all the way to the front and make sure your shoulders on top of your elbow here. Bring your opposite hand, your top hand behind your head here and try to lift your hips as your waist as high as you can. Pull your belly button in. Now inhale, try to lift your hips up exhale down now as quick as you can in 10 counts so 9 8 7 6 5 good 4 belly button in 3 stabilize your shoulders here and last one lift and slowly bring it down deep inhale and exhale and one more time inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth Good. Still on the same side. I want you to inhale and lift your hips as high as you can. Now this time bring your arm up and start to rotate. Bring your hand over and down and come back. Twist and bring it back. Engage your core as much as possible here. Keep breathing. You can always bring your hand behind your head and only move your shoulders if it's easier for you. Really engage your core and feel your oblique here. And five, four, Beautiful guys, three, belly button in, two, last one, and slowly bring your hips down, hug your knee to your chest, inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth, and when you're ready, go to the other side, we're going to do side lift on the other side, very good guys, now from here, I want you to inhale, and lengthen your legs again, lift your hips as high as you can and shoulders on top of your elbow here, hand behind your head. Now inhale down, lift as high as you can and keep breathing here. Nine, eight, belly button in. Six, try to bring all the focus on your hips here so by bringing it as high as you can. So keep breathing and three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your hips down. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. That's an amazing movement. All right, good. Now the next one, twisting. Lift your legs up. Lengthen your legs here. I'm up to the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen, twist and lengthen. Again, try to do it as quick as you can. Really engage your core here. And shoulder far away from your ears. Really feel your oblique twisting, really working. Again, make it easier by bring your hand behind your head and keep breathing here. So three, two, one, 
two. And last one, slowly bring your hips down. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Bend your knees, have your knee to your chest. Inhale. And exhale, very good. All right, now from here, allow yourself to lie all the way down on your mat again. Inhale deeply. And exhale deeply. Good, one more time before we ready for the next movement here. Inhale. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Let all the air out of your body. Very good. Now from here, lift your legs up to 90 degrees here. Activate your feet, arms along your body. If you're a beginner, you can always bring your leg down, open your legs a bit apart and keep your feet flat. If you already work out for a while, just lift your head and your shoulder off the mat and start to pumping your whole arms here. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. One, feet distant from your chin to your chest. Chest up a little bit more, really feel your six back up, your whole core here, and keep breathing. Use your whole arms to pump. Squish your thighs, contract your pelvic floor muscle, and always keep your hips square here. For more challenge, lengthen your legs all the way to the front, and lower your legs if it's make it easy for more um, challenging here. So two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Make sure you press your lower back down to the mat and don't arch here. If you feel like arching, you can always bring your legs back to 90 degree here. Other way, I want you to challenge yourself. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. And three. Two. Last one. And slowly bring your head and shoulders down. Hug your knee to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Beautiful, guys. Again, one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Very good. Now from here, I want you to open your legs with the pad, press your feet down. And bring your hands all the way up to the ceiling. Inhale, draw your hips all the way up and hands over your head. Exhale, come back, belly button in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bring it back. Contract your pelvic floor muscle here. Each vertebrae breath at a time. Tuck the tailbone forward and lift your hips as high as you can. Come back slowly. And five. Exhale. Stabilize your shoulders, your hips. Try to keep your hips balanced. Four. And three. Inhale. And exhale. Two more times stay with your own breath. Keep breathing. Now last one, inhale. And I want you to press your palms facing up to the ceiling. Open and press your whole arms down. Lift your hips as high as you can. Now inhale, lift your heels up and down. Chin to chest. We want to do it 10 times here. Contract your pelvic floor muscle and squeeze in the thighs. Make sure your hips square and I mean make sure your hips balanced and stabilized. Belly button all the way in. And nine, eight, seven. And speed it up if you can, as quick as you can in ten cows. And five, four, three, two. And last one slowly draw your hips down. Very good. Hope you already feel it on your leg. So keep breathing, inhale. And exhale. Beautiful guys. Now open your arms to the side. Leave your legs up to 90 degrees here. Inhale and exhale. Slowly bring your legs to one side. Lengthen your leg. Come back to the center. To the other side. Lengthen and bring it back. Make sure you press your opposite shoulders down to the mat. And keep breathing. Really press your arms down. Engage your core to protect your lower back. We're going to do it six more times here. To your right. Five, contract your pelvic floor muscle and really reach your leg all the way towards the front and lengthen. Let someone pulling your leg away from your hips. Really work your core and your whole legs, hips here. Lengthen, come back to the other side. Very good. And three, two, 
to the other side and last one really use the breath to control the movement slowly bring it back to the center legs down inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth very good now one more time inhale and exhale through your mouth all right now from here i wanted to allow yourself to hug your knees your chest and activate your feet lift your head and your shoulder off the mat inhale exhale lengthen your leg and your arms to opposite way come back hands over your head and exhale bend your knees hug your knee to your chest lift lengthen come back chest a little bit higher engage your core and chin your chest here to stick your low back down to the mat really feel your core is working keep breathing and five four do it really precise make a precise movement in your core too last one inhale lengthen exhale bend and hug head down shoulders down inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth beautiful guys now from here i wanted to bring your legs up to 90 degree activate your feet open your arms to the side again press it down now inhale open your legs as wide as you can and lengthen come back and bend now do it as quick as you can in 10 counts so keep breathing very good inhale lengthen exhale come back lengthen and bring it back beautiful guys and six five four squeeze your thighs when you bring your legs back together two now last one lengthen come back and slowly bring your legs down inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now from here i wanted to allow yourself to press your arms along your body and down reach your hand towards your heels now draw your hips all the way up now this time i want you to try to keep squeezing in your thighs into each other imagining that you have a very big ball between your thighs so keep breathing squeeze in two and ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one now make a little pulse with your hips again and ten nine eight seven six five four belly button in and last one slowly keep it up heels up and start to make a little pose again with your heels up in ten nine keep your whole arms and shoulders down keep breathing belly button all the way in towards your spine to protect your lower back and five four three two and last one slowly draw your hips down that's amazing inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth now from here i wanted to inhale and lift both legs up at the same time 90 degree here arms along your body now inhale and slowly bring one leg down keep 90 degree on your knee here to the other side and start to switch so 10 quicker speed it up really engage your core and stabilize your hips here belly button in and eight seven six five four three two now last one and from here bring your arms to the side just about the floor palms facing up to the ceiling and i want i want you to start to make a little pulse with your arms and when you do that i want you to activate your feet and slowly inhale bring your legs down slowly at the same time exhale come back when you do that make sure you don't arch your back keep your back in neutral position here and belly button in and lift it up so keep breathing combine the movement here and lift inhale and exhale really engage your core and five more times stay with your own breath four three beautiful guys two last one and slowly bring it back hug your knee to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth now lean on one side and sit up 
I wanted to come to own proposition again. As an elbows rotate to face each other, shoulder far away from your ears. Now inhale, inhale articulate your spine, shoulders down, look up. And round your spine, chin your chest, each vertebra at a time. We're going to do it five more times, stay with your own breath slowly. And come back, round your spine. And three, engage your core. Two, Slowly, each vertebra at a time. Last one, squeeze in the thighs. And back to the center. Keep your hips and your knees together. Lengthen your feet here and shoulder far away from your ears. Now inhale, bring one arm to the front and lengthen your leg to the back, opposite leg. Bring it back to the other side. Inhale and exhale. We're going to do it five more times each side here with your own breath and keep breathing. For do it slowly. And three, lengthen, let someone pulling your arm away from your shoulder, the leg away from your hips. Two more times each side with your own breath. Keep breathing, very good guys. Really don't arch your back here, belly button in. Last one, inhale. And exhale to the other side. And the very last one to the other side to make it balanced on both sides. Now bring it down, come to tripos. Reach your hand towards, inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. You can always open your knees wider to stretch your back more. Reach. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Now walk your hand to one side. Hold it here in three, two, and one to the other side. And three, two, and one slowly bring it back to the center. I want you to inhale and sit up. So cross your leg, lengthen your spine, shoulders down. Inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Inhale and exhale. Rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and reverse. Bring your head around. Inhale halfway, exhale halfway, do it really slowly and do three rounds. And reverse. And slowly back to the center. Now, hand on opposite knee, open your shoulder all the way to the back. Feel your oblique twisting and to the other side. And back to the center, rotate the wrist and reverse. Bring your hand to the side, reach to your right and reach your left. And one more time to the other side and back to the center, shoulders down. Inhale deeply through your nose one more time. Exhale deeply through your mouth. And that's the work of today. Thank you so much for joining me. And please subscribe and hit the bell to see notification every time I upload new video. Also, congratulations that you already complete the third day and see you on day four Brazilian butt.